Number 30. In nuclear fission, a nucleus splits roughly in half. Letter A. What is the potential 2 times 10 to the minus 14 meters from a fragment that has 46 protons in it? Okay, so here's the fragment. We know it has 46 protons. So if it has 46 protons and we know the charge of each single proton is going to be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs, that's memorized, we can just to find the total charge, just multiply them together. Right, so take 46, multiply it by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. And now what that tells us is it's going to be 7, 7.36 times 10 to the minus 18th coulombs. All right, what that tells us now is it tells us the charge value of this particular point charge. Okay, now, what it then says is that it wants to find um, the, what is the potential? Okay, so it wants to find the potential at some distance relative to this point charge. Okay, so it wants to find the potential here. What's the distance? Well, it told us, right? The distance here, which is known as R, check out number 25, I went through this a little more in detail. The distance is gonna be two times 10 to the minus 14 meters. And we know that the formula of the voltage due to a point charge is equal to the electrostatic constant K multiplied by the charge that's producing the voltage, meaning this, divided then by the distance between the where the voltage is being measured and the charge. So I got everything I need. So nine times 10 to the nine, and that's true not only in this problem, but in, in life. Aren't we, aren't we truly right blessed to have what we have? So aren't you truly blessed to be in physics, right? <laughs> so times Q, which is 7.36 times 10 to the minus 18th, divided then by the distance. So 2 times 10 to the minus 14th. And I really do hope that you're having a great semester. Um, I know physics can be a little rough and whatnot, but hopefully these videos are making your life a little easier. So 7.36 times 10 to the minus 18th. And hopefully as I'm chatting, I'm not making a mistake in the calculator, but you know, we're all human. So 3.31 times 10 to the, what do we got? Three, six, six. And that's going to be in terms of then volts. All right. So that's the voltage. Okay, so letter B, what is the potential energy in mega electron volts of a similarly charged fragment Okay, at this distance? So now I need to basically uh, relate voltage to potential energy or to energy difference. And we know that via the formula over here on the right hand side, right? It's that the potential difference V is basically gonna equal the difference in potential energy divided by then that charge itself. So if I wanna find the potential energy, just simply cross multiply, it'll be the voltage times the charge. And now all we need to do is plug in that voltage of 3.31 times 10 to the sixth uh, volts, then multiplied by the charge. I'm running out of space there a little bit. So this would be the charge, 7.36, right? 7.36 times 10 to the minus 18th. And what do we get? The potential energy here is going to be, let me just see if I can move this over a little bit. All right, great. The potential energy now is going to be times 7. <clears throat> 3, 6 times 10 to the minus 18th. And here we get now 2 point, oops, well, what do we get? 2.4, I guess 4, 2.44 roughly times 10 to the minus 11th. And that's in terms of joules, okay? Now they want the answer in mega electron volts, so we just got to do a conversion. So we got 2.44 times 10 to the minus 11 joules. And we know now that uh, for every uh, one electron volt, it is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. So the joules go bye-bye. I don't want electron volts, so I want mega electron volts. So electron volts on the bottom, mega electron volts on the top. We know then that there are 10 to the sixth uh, electron volts for every one mega electron volt. And the electron volts go bye-bye, and that's how we're going to get the value. So I'm going to take it, the 2.44 times 10 to the minus 11, divide it then by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th and then divide it again by 10 raised to the sixth. And I get a value of about 152. So 152 mega electron volts. So guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I really do hope this helped. Please remember, if you can, to help us out. Um, subscribe, like, you know, do whatever, do whatever you can, even if you drop our name maybe to one of your classmates. Uh, that'd be awesome. And um, sure, we appreciate your viewership very, very much. Thank you.